so today I'm going to be reviewing Radiohead's OK Computer. Now, this is a long awaited review. I've been trying to listen to this album forever. A few months ago I put up a poll on TikTok and I was like what is the greatest rock and roll album that you ever heard ever and I had a lot of feedback on it and I made a list. Hold on. Is it focusing? So help me God I hope it's focusing. So this is the list. OK Computer was the top choice for everyone pretty much. They got the most votes. So, I was like, okay, I'm gonna listen to that before I start this challenge. But, life happened. I had to move, and then, like, because I have a few other reaction videos I'm supposed to be doing, like, I've already done, and I'm supposed to be doing. Like, I recorded Evermore Part 2, got deleted when I moved. I got a lot of my stuff got messed up when I moved. So, I've had a lot going on, because I made this list in, like, March low-key <laughs> and i should have been done this look at all these albums on here like this is a lot of a lot of stuff i'm gonna have to listen to i've only heard in rainbows and then a moon shape pool which i love um in rainbows is my favorite radiohead and I haven't heard anything else so we'll see if i can be convinced otherwise um moon shape pool because that's like really good on planes for some reason like i listen to that when i'm on the plane just like looking out the window thinking about my life and just real emo mood vibes and it's really sad if you talk about my nails that are missing you're anti-woman period i don't even know what to expect like i'm looking at the the on my work um it was cool it's like a city vibe maybe in winter time but i don't know what's really going on like i don't know if this is going to be like in rainbows or more or moon shape pool. like I don't, I don't know or if it's going to be something totally different and innovative because radiohead is innovative to me so we'll see i've been wanting to listen to this forever because i always see people say this is their favorite radiohead album and then it got voted it got voted a lot you guys so i mean we have to listen, right? We're about to get started. I have no other words to say because I just want to get to it. My wine. Because you know we got a catch a little vibe in here. So like I said, I haven't heard this album. The only songs I've heard are um, Subterranean, Homestead, Alien, which I love. And if the album sounds anything like this, it's going to be a banger in my book. I could have heard some of these songs just don't know the name. We're about to find out. The album has 12 songs and it is about... 53 minutes long which is not bad actually actually perfect the first song is airbag i have <laughs> i mean like i know like that the first song is airbag so here we go talking about being born again and interstellar birth and i've already heard subterranean homesick and alien and that song is my life y'all like i feel like that all the time like i'm just not meant to be here i'm supposed to be somewhere else so this is the vibe we're getting so far i'm sorry i'm just i'm just i'm collecting notes i'm collecting the data and it's giving me some type of outer space and terrestrial vibe so We'll see. <laughs> if it's that, y'all, I'm gonna be so happy. If it's that kind of vibe. Y'all. Oh. 
um, that happened to me. I was in a car accident where the, the airbag saved me and I was in a fast charger. Like that was my car. That was my college car. Silver, I'll, I'll never get a charger. That was my favorite car ever. And I used to think I was the shit in that car. Like I'm riding around like Chief Keith with those down on my college campus. That was my car. I had a silver Dodge Charger fast and I got to an accident and the airbag saved me and I remember being in the hospital and everything and the, the guys, they told me, they were like, yo, like those cars are so durable. Like you're happy that you were in a Charger because they're built for that. Like they're built for, you know, withstanding, you know, because like, a lot of police officers drive Chargers and things like that. But that's crazy. He said that my heart is beating fast so i'm like <laughs> like this album's about to do something to me fuck this is not on the agenda for tonight <laughs> say one thing very much giving technology vibes right now super you know interstellar xenon i'm loving it next song paranoid android great song title <laughs> different genres I'm hearing right now 
like it's a good blend of some things happening. I don't want to speak too soon and like call it something yet because you know we're only second song but like a lot of blendage right now and I'm liking it. <laughs> anybody I'm so sorry but I mean that in the best way because it reminds me of like I mean the structure that's what I'm talking about here not the sound but like the structure like the song is giving me a story it's giving me parts it's giving me you know talking about a play like this is amazing Radiohead wow like I know when people heard this they were like what the fuck because this came out I don't know the yeah. 1997 y'all 1997 I know these people were like what drugs are these people on futurism you know like what <laughs> they think they are doing all that what the hell that rain down on me segment is wild and the what's the this whole thing is wild this is my life like what the fuck damn this song is crazy it's so like what was that that was so these motherfuckers are not from here that motherfucker is not real Tom York so, no Cause who comes up with this kind of stuff? Huh? Oh my god, I can't wait to listen to that again. Like wicked. Crazy. Whoa. I have to listen to that again, but I can't right now. Let's keep going. But fuck. Okay, the next song is a song I actually know. So I'm trying to home again. Ah! This album is going. It's 2 3 right now. 2 3 right now. I don't have to write this because I, I love this song. Pretty odd. Pretty odd. Somebody said gun to your head. What's a song that, like, describes your inner thoughts and how you feel about the world this fucking song it is an experience and it's emotional for me it comes on after paranoid this they are wild <laughs> So the next song is Exit Music for a film. It has a lot of plays, so maybe I've heard it before, but so far, we're loving it. I mean, we're going through for three right now. So, I mean, let's see if they can keep going. Wake from your sleep. For real. Okay, 
like I said, we have two relatable moments now because in the first track, I told you that happened to me. Now in this track, I'm... I don't know how I'm feeling about that right now. Because, like, I've been through this. And, like, now it's getting scary. Because I'm like, is this album about my life? I'm, I'm a little confused right now. And I'm, like, smiling, but, like, I'm, I'm actually very concerned. Like, I feel like... This is depressing. show i've heard that on something or like on tick that little when the music comes in like well when the you know yes i've heard that okay that's what that's from okay ah oh, this is this is emotional this is oh i'm getting like goosebumps is just okay <laughs> very that was like haunting in a way like i mean it definitely sounds like extra music for a film for sure like just a very i don't oh my god what's the word i want to use a very like climatic ending to something so it's very interesting that that song is number four like very early on in the album very interesting because like that just sounds like something that's just collapsing but i mean you know, who knows? Like, we have to keep going because I don't like, you know, they shock me and then it just, you know, who, I don't know where I'm going. Okay, so the next song is Let Down. in a movie like when the main character is fucked up are they really going through it or like you know very pivotal moment in the in the film something definitely it sounds like that like i could just hear that in the background of that happening also it just reminds me of being in a very crowded place and then like the music's playing and everything's just going on around me like and i'm just like i don't know what's happening i'm just here <laughs> Like, I could just literally, bruh, like, just, what? That song sounds like flying. Like, I've said, I already know I've said this sound like a lot of things already, but, like, I don't know. Like, this is just so otherworldly, but otherworldly in a different way. Like, not ethereal. Like, this is just, like, number one, I just can't believe they made this. Number two, how does Tom York even think about... I really didn't have a sit-down conversation with him because, like, bro, real. Like, <laughs> real. <laughs> like, everything you're saying, real. Like, damn. If I could just have a sit-down, like, we can sit outside, like, have some tea or something. I just need to chat. They're like, you get me? So that means I will get you and we just, like, we really need to talk about this stuff. Because, damn, that sounds crazy. They are going five or five already. Like, let's say when you pass on and they say, like, your life flashes before your eyes. This sounds like the music that's playing when that's happening. Swear to God. It, that's the vibe it's giving me right now. It is just, like, on another fucking something. And you're, like, moving on to your next life somewhere. 
in some futuristic realm. I don't know. This is what it's giving me right now. I'm just like I'm just throwing off what's popping up in my head. And I know it sounds crazy. So the next song is Karma Police. I already know I'm gonna like that because I like the title. Cause I'm the Karma Police. Cause I'm so spiritually inclined. You're gonna get chores if you fuck with me. So I think I'm gonna like that. because like that's real like you know you're saying all this stuff like oh like that's jiggly messing me with. like you know like you'd be you'd be amped up when stuff happens and then like you're just acting crazy and vengeful and just wild and then like in a second i just know for me i'm a water sign on pisces so like in a second i could take like damn like i was tripping out like i just i don't know I could be interpreted as wrong. That's just how I'm interpreted. Could mean that, like, you know, I almost lost myself, like, to my emotions and, like, to my anger. And, like, you know, just to, like, life that's surrounding me and just, like, the things that's, you know, depressing me or making me angry and emo. But also, I mean, like, I almost lost myself, like, just as a, you know, who I am, my self confidence and, like, my dreams, that's right. Like, just, like, the whole world is just, like, I mean, going off of how the album has been sounding, it's been sounding very heavy and this like this this haunting impending doom. This ending could be like a beautiful expression of like hope, cause you're saying you almost lost yourself, but I don't know. It's I mean it's it's lyrically great. For real, for real. Reflection. Intergalactic, intergalactic, there's some intergalactic stuff going on. Right, guys, let's be for right now. It, honestly, this album, 99, I'm telling you, the people lost their minds when this came out because they were like, probably like, what are these sounds? What are these sounds? In 90, I mean, I said 99, 97. I feel like this era, like 97, and then I also listened to another album. Let me pull it up by Poison Girlfriend and it came out around this time. I just want to be sure. I know it was in the 90s, but I just want to know what exact year. 92. Okay, so this came out in 97. Okay, so like this album, it's called Melty Moment, has th that same type of futurism, technology, alien vibe, something. But I said in my video when I re um, reviewed this that the 90s, like maybe, yeah, like I don't have to say the whole 90s, but definitely like 92, 93 and up. They predicted like that Y2K futurism vibe that people were obsessed with. Like every music video and photo shoots looked very futuristic. Like think the No Scrubs video. Like I'm laying it out for y'all. I'm trying to. The best way I can. I love this album so far. I can see why people were saying that this is like the greatest ch chit put together ever. I've heard music, man. Like I listen to a lot of very experimental music and a lot of crazy sounding stuff. I love shoegaze. That's like my favorite genre. 
but I've never heard nothing quite be like just like this even though I mean and like now that I'm listening to this I've, I've heard things that have tried to do this and done okay like sounded good but like it's, it's that Tom York like this like that man made my favorite song ever well one of them like the top five in his weird fishes so like he can do not wrong in my eyes I'm sorry like I'm a Pisces I'm gonna eat that song regardless I was gonna eat it up I didn't care what it sounded like so that's our name I said oh play this is my anthem because that's me literally what is his birthday actually come on let's be for real because now that we're talking about it who would ever make a song if he's not a Pisces and he made a song called Weird Fishes he's wild as fuck October 7th oh my god his birthday is the same as my mom's what you a Libra and you make anybody you you that emotional <laughs> no it's the Libras I'm just saying my best friend is a Libra and my mom is a Libra and that is my mother's birthday and my mom I could never imagine her writing a song songs like this because I've never even heard her express things like that on a deeper level maybe she has not to me <laughs> Tom York is my mother's birthday God. my mother's birthday maybe that's why I'm just like I feel like this connection to him and his music and his lyrics something Tom York okay we're, we're going off, off the topic but like, I just have to figure it out Libra musicians because now I'm just curious like what Libras because like even my best friend she's very nonchalant she's very like I don't know like I, I would I just couldn't picture her writing lyrics like that either so I just need to just give me somebody Paul Simon okay Rachel okay Patrick, okay okay Lizzie Buckingham okay Sue okay find out Libra's are talented Cardi B Libra too I mean you know like play <laughs> like the next song is Fitter Happier I like that name it's a tongue twister so period not drinking too much regular exercise at the gym three days a week getting on better with it why did why did it read me like that why why, why did that little, little bot read me cause this is y'all no no lie I'm not even lying to you it is the 6th and I literally was like September wake up it's the first of the month like listen get your stuff together I talk too much cause I'm going off topic I'm not going off topic it's on topic let me okay listen I'm not I'm not going out as much I went way too hard this summer I need to get all my stuff you know make more videos for you guys cause you guys wanted them so bad like get on my grind and be in the best shape of my life before my birthday in come March like all of these things they're saying and I just think it's so funny because the, they are not lying when they say albums find you at the time that you need them so it's like yeah this came out in 97 and yeah people my age probably got onto it years ago you know or the internet like I don't know like it comes to you when it's supposed to come to you I swear to god same thing with melodrama that's one of my favorite albums it got me through some very hard like relationship trauma that I had and it's so funny because like I was going through that relationship trauma when that album came out in 2017 and I didn't listen to it until 2021 and I think it came at the right time like it was a very big transitional period in my life and it, it just helped so much so I'm like this is just I don't know I, I just wanted to put that to like a little piece in because it's just interesting it could just be running my mouth I'm just saying that was just very on brand for me right now. It was, it was just reading me for filth. No more microwave dinners and saturated fats. A patient better driver. A safer car. Baby smiling and back. No paranoia. Cheer for you all animal. Will frequently check credit at Moro. Having a road supermarket. No killing lots. No putting following on the roads. No longer afraid of but not cry in public. Less chance of illness. Like a cat tied to a stick, let's not buy eyes. In a cage, oh, wow. This wow. way, I just ended with wow. In a cage, on antibiotics. Okay, the whole time I was thinking, like, yeah, this is my daily manifestation. This is my daily manifestation. I need to, you know, manifest, manifest this in my life because I'm, I'm off. The, 
chaos in my life. Not this. Like what they're saying, but damn. A pig in a cage. On antibiotics because real. Because that shit that you put in your body, them antidepressants and stuff like that, is supposed to help, I guess. With everything he's saying in that little daily manif that manifestation he was saying, like, you know, get right. But you feel trapped. Like, you're still gonna feel trapped. Either way, you're trapped. I don't, like, and that was like a very hard shift at the end saying that and like comparing, you know, um, being stuck in that, that daily safe routine to keep you sh straight and narrow is not how life is supposed to be. It's just not realistic. The next song is Electioneering. Electioneering. He's got that tongue twist. Okay. <laughs> listening to in the rainbows but to be honest like I low-key almost cried at airbag I did because it would just like but I, I try to hold it because like we just started video like that this girl has no backbone like dang but they are going in Ugh, I wish I could make you like this <laughs> takeaway of that song um, okay also that song probably fun to perform because it's just wow like going from fitter happier and then boom they bust out with that what guitar guitars on that crazy they want it like i know they were sweating in the studio when they did that one because they were they was, they was acting like it was a church or something going crazy oh my god Okay, the next song is Climb Up The Wall. That's how, I, that's how I feel right now. I hear in that song. I want to climb up the goddamn wall and lose my fucking mind. I gotta wait to have my re-listen because I always do like a re-listen after this. Like, and I have to just like be in my own space off the camera so I can just really like just, and like, you know, I don't have to stop and talk and all that. Nah! I can't wait. It's gonna be a moment. And I definitely will have like my afterthoughts on my TikTok as I always do. I talk about you know what I've been listening to, and I'll just give like some quick boom, 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 just talk about it. But this is for the people that really want to have an in depth of how I'm feeling right now. This is crazy. I'm really trying to figure out a genre. I mean, it's rock, obviously, but like, if I really wanted to break it down, like, what are we listening to here? This shit sounds like these motherfuckers. They recorded this in 2000. Bruh, 2000 in like 2050. I swear to God. And then they came back and they dropped it off in 97. And they were like, here, boom. This is what the future's gonna sound like. And be like, and 
this would like this is what you have to expect. Life's life sucks, but that's just yeah. But here we are making good music, <laughs> like, bruh, because there's no way they record this in 1997. These motherfuckers time traveled, and I'm telling you, they met some people out there. They met some others, and they helped them with the production. Because this is like out of this world. I need to talk to Tom York. I really do. Depression. depression at 4 a.m. Y'all, I have a problem. I literally sent like most nights I will I can't go to sleep till 3 or 4 a.m. That sounds like what be manifesting in, in my thoughts and in my room. This is what the song sounds like. I oh my god I cannot why is he doing this to me? I can't handle this a song like this. I I really can't. I, I can't handle a song like this I, I don't think. Is this my therapy? That is so sad. This is how I feel every day, bro. What the f It is. That was the that is the most realist, relatable scream I have heard in a song ever. Cause I feel you. I have done that multiple times. Like, bruh. I'm not even gonna fucking lie to you guys. That might be that might be my Okay. That's not my favorite song on here. But it's it's definitely top three, not three. Let me just look at what we've we've so Subterranean Homestead Alien is, is still my favorite. I don't like I, I just have a deep connection with that and I'm sorry that I heard it before it was a full listen. I would have loved to not hear that and then heard it in the rotation for the first time. It been amazing. But yes. Yeah. Cloud the Walls. Fuck. I love that song. And it's not even like that mostly played. People love exit music for a film. They love paying on Android. I mean like yeah best song on here so far and I mean I, I like common Bliss too but like for me personally Paranoid Android is a is a master class of a song great song but the ones that have hit, hit home for me is definitely Paranoid Android Airbag Climb Up The Walls and yeah Sub, Subterranean Homesick and, um, Alien and Let Down too I mean, honestly, it's, it's all it's all hitting, but like, if I had to like choose top three right now, boom, 
calm the wall just made up there for me for sure that that was that was wild bro like you, if you get it you get it bro like being trapped in your own head is the worst feeling ever and like that shit does follow you like being paranoid and just feeling crazy and just like scared of just everything like ah like oh my god it never leaves it literally never leaves so the next song is no surprises this has a lot of plays so i'm guessing people like it all right i could have heard this one before you know because i mean it, ha it has a lot of plays i'm wondering um what's the t what's the t oh i've heard this <laughs> i've heard this i've heard this melody time ago to keep it real that was that's some storytelling right there that's some that's some true art it just showed me how far I came because like if I would have heard that at my lowest point it probably could have it probably it, it could have went one or two ways hopefully <laughs> could have brought me back but yeah that song is yeah Man, that song has like some essence to it that is just like it also has a, like a lost element to it like I feel like I don't know there's a lot of themes of death in this, this whole album that I'm like kind of hearing I guess or at least that's what's like I don't, I don't know I'm not trying to get all deep right now but like that's just honestly what i don't know it just has a very uh god that one kind of fucked me up i'm not gonna lie because like, i can't even get my words together my god why is he making music like this maybe he's just trying to get off his chest next song is lucky because we have to just keep, keep moving because i'm just gonna sit here stuck because it kind of has me floored that song Cause I've only heard that intro, like that. Duh, duh, I want to have that. I didn't know that was gonna be like literally the, just the most depressing but comforting in a way shit I've ever heard. But like tears will be falling to that to that song. I'm sure. I'm sure when the future comes, I will probably listen to that so many times and cry to it. Cause I literally just teared up now. So the next song is Lucky. All right. Jesus, go with that. Futuristic something's landed. Um.
that had a psychedelic feel to it. I like that. That that was that was cool. This shit is crazy. Like this this album is chaotic. Like in a great way though. Like this sounds like my thoughts. This is just wow. Wow. Taking me through all of my emotions, my existential dread, and like me going through the step by step of it because I mean like I mean let's break it down bruh like even from karma police to lose my fucking mind over people that keep fucking with me and then we're going to clown up the walls like my nighttime just fucking sleep paralysis demon looking at me just like fucking losing it just just in my emo mood just wanting to just end it all and now we're and then oh my god and no surprise is that that really is just when you just... It's just taking me through a lot of different emotions. It's just making me think about, like, my young adult life. Like, being out in this world and, like, dealing with emotions of, you know, trying to be the best. That person you can be and, like, achieve your dreams and then, like, keep up with the, the fads and, you know, you know, watch the world going by and it's changing and growing every day just like how you're supposed to be and it's just, like... You're just losing your fucking mind. Like, and I just feel like Tom York, like, hey, let me put this all, we're gonna put all this in out. Cause that's what it's giving me right now. So we're at the end. And those are my, like, my initial thoughts of how it's making me feel. But, like, that's just the feeling and, like, what I'm seeing. Like, musically, though, this is like, I mean, totally different from Moonshade Pool and In Rainbows, in my opinion. I mean, they're just, just different bodies of work and, like, just different vibes. I mean, Tom York is always just going to be his villains, in my opinion. But, like, just different. D this, this very just different handout weight that my second listen where I'm, like, really immersed in, like, there won't be no stopping. It's going straight through. Because some of these sounds are just like it just seems beyond it's time when this came out See, and you know what now i'm seeing why this is like on the list for like best rock albums ever created or you know people like the thousand people that commented on my video and said this you gotta listen to this because this had to be monumental for the time that it came out just off of how this sounds and what they're doing and like I just know people heard this and like felt seen, felt heard, but also like, whoa, like, this sounds crazy. Wow, music is crazy. Like, it's crazy how people can go in a studio and make some shit that sounds like this. Like, if I tried to go in there and try to make this, it would like, how? How are they doing this? It's just beautiful. Radiohead, what a band. I mean, they are like, you gotta give it to them. From what I've heard, I haven't even heard all the radio, radio head out, but now I'm going to listen. Cause you gotta hit that three for three. I'm sorry for me. Like, if I'm really gonna get into an artist and a band, I got to hear at least three that, that, that slaps for me. Where I'm really gonna do, like, okay, now I'm gonna see your whole everything. Cause I heard them rainbows, loved it. Like, I mean, that was like my lifeline in 2021. Like, that's all I listened to. Moonshade Pool, loved it. So now I'm like, okay. This is like their, everybody says it's like their best of the best. And you know what? I'm going to have to agree with the people right now because out of all those three I have heard, this is the best. This is the most innovative to me. I know I keep saying real, y'all. I'm sorry. But it's just so me, Corey. Like, if, you're, if you're on TikTok chronically like I am, you know what me, Corey is. Like everybody should probably hear this album. You should hear at least once in your life, especially if you enjoy music really deeply and just like appreciating like great things because this is just i think this is just something i mean look at the time it's 2020 and like this came out mad long ago and people are still shouting to the rooftops that this is the best of the best and it is just really good like i think this is just a band at its peak and like they are doing it like this is like what they dreamed about when they started their band like we're gonna make a masterpiece and people will study this because I'm sure people do like I I like reading things like that or like um 
listening to like people that like really analyze and like literate like you know they really get that like I, I'm not that person don't cover me that this cover me for reactions okay like I'm just here for a good time a lot of time I'm giving you my real raw just funny reactions because I just really I like music but I'm not like a, a scholar so you know I don't know and I'm learning because now that I've been doing the music page like I'm learning you know about genres and iceberg of genres and how to break things down into words to just you know make you see it how I see it. I like reading the articles people that are really like breaking it down like college level essays video essays that are really breaking this down because I know I know there's things I'm probably not even here right now because I'm just like taking it in for the first time but like this is last song I've, I've talked enough string I literally, I, I, I have no words, literally, I'm like, look at my hands, they're shaking, like, oh my god, Tom, you he was literally screaming to me, final thoughts right now, I loved it, I mean, that was expected though, because I just love Tom York and I love Radiohead and everything they do that I've heard so far. I'm gonna talk more about it, like my final, final, final thoughts on my TikTok, so you gotta check that out when I drop the video. But, I mean, this is beyond its time. I've already said that a thousand times. I feel like this found me at the time it was supposed to find me. Like, I think I'm gonna have a lot more sit down with this album and think about my life and... It's, it's coming at a good time because I'm at a like a very interesting crossroads in my life and it's it's just a lot so this even though it has this slow dark kind of looming presence in it that also meets like societal technology life moving fast in front of you kind of energy and vibe and then like the sheer moods throughout throughout all that um it kind of relaxed me even though like some of the stuff he was talking about was really 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 sad but it kind of put me at ease in a way and uh i don't know it kind of comforted me a bit even though like i definitely went through a lot of feelings listening to this I mean, in the end, I feel calmer and, like, less anxiety-ridden. And maybe because that last song was kind of cathartic and, like, really pulls it all together. And it's kind of like, hey, like, it's going to be okay. Just slow down. You know, get, what do they say? Slow down and take some other roses or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Like, just chill. Like, everything's going to be okay. So that's, like, kind of what I got from the end of that. But make sure you guys like and subscribe because I'm going to be doing way more of these and I want to start going live so I got to make sure y'all like these and people are watching 
because I want to start going live on Twitch and I can do this stuff on Twitch man like you know even though I won't stop doing YouTube videos but like you know this is only my second one so we have to see people like the Tales of one so we got to see if y'all like them and I'm like okay maybe we'll move over to some live streaming because I like, like reacting to stuff like I have a whole list I'm not gonna pick it up it's on the floor but I have a whole list of stuff I'm gonna react to there's at least 20 albums on there we can roll them because I mean like that one was great so I'm sure all the other ones that everybody's talking about you know in my comments running off about it's gonna be good and if you like this video just you know give me a follow give me a like and i will be back very soon